<laughs> that is absolutely mad. <laughs> She's been challenging literally everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Uh, that is... That is a lot. That it might be even too much. <laughs> like, how do we keep finding openings for her? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's toughy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess... <laughs> is it like the autogens start going down to, like, blood now? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> it's not match openings for her. Oh. Okay, just waiting for her to get the seed in. <laughs> she literally can't have autogens. Oh, jeez. Um, well... I mean, at this point, you've done your... Piece. You've done your racing. <laughs> The whole point of autogens is to make sure people race. She's got right. that covered, so. <laughs> More than enough. <laughs> All right, let's do this. DT versus Ochre for points. For, for placement points. on the ladder. <laughs> the ladder. Hey, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm into that. <laughs> Why not? Name everything after me. Sounds good. <laughs> Why are those races not going diagonally? This is so much slower. My brain. <laughs> Every time I watch some Cadence after some Diamond, I, <laughs> I, mean, I end up confused. Like, all these diagonal opportunities. Nope. Oh, man. Diamond is the best character by far. So good. All right. Are we going to do a throw? Nope. We're going to bomb. <laughs> Makes sense. Don't throw if you've got a bomb. <laughs> not worth. Yeah. I You're will say I am. Finger. I just checked. Um, not to gloat, but I am one of the wins. Uh, one of N DT's losses was me. Haha! -ha. Good job on that. I did have a win on <laughs> DT. I think they died. <laughs> it's the only way that's gonna happen, so... So win is a win. It means you didn't die after that, so good job on that. That's true. That's true. Win's a win. Alright, little blood, uh, blood kill there with the heal right after for Ochre. Nice play. I'm just digging in. Doesn't even care about going through the door. Imagine you owned a shop and someone just like burrowed through the wall to get in. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, he's not even mad. He's, he's just very chill. He's a he's a jolly fella. Always singing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what's in this black chest. DT did not get. Oh, it's a blood flail. I think that means Ochre's gonna be checking perp. Nope. I I don't hate the blood flail take over the gold brought swords. I mean, you have the blood drum, and you can heal some oh. with, the, with that weapon. That's a risky play. Ochre going for the 2-1 the um, weapon transmute <laughs> is a bold strategy. Yeah, but it's it's better. It is a better weapon. weapon and it's a spear, so you can use your drum to throw now. Yeah. Maybe if you, if you do it right, you get the heal on the throw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have that... Uh, the boots of pain, exactly. though, for uh, <laughs> so much better for DT oh, now. Eat the chicken, please. Chicken. Oh, why aren't you picking chicken. those up, DT? Please. Chicken. You have a chicken. flail. You can knock back and then kick them. That's like what makes it so good. It's the knockback, which the flail yeah, has. With the, with the flail, yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, oh. I'm not entirely sure about Ochre's take, but. Uh, well, I don't think Ochre's planning on staying on on this uh, spear, which is the, the deal there. But like the knockback kick, it's so good. I'm so upset about this. Oh. They're crystal tear racers. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, Ochre's I'm... got a titanium cutlass though. Uh, so which, gets the boots uh... of pain backwards <laughs> when parrying. Yeah, it's mildly better. <laughs> Super weird. The <laughs> chicken chicken in chat. Very good. Chicken, yeah. yeah, she was on half a heart uh, after uh, picking up those boots. I was getting very scared about that. <laughs> Digging into the... Oh, it's a blarp again. Hey, everybody. Blarp. Oh, well, you take that blarp with I feel like you do. Thing. I think you absolutely do. All right. What's the deal here? What's with the neglect on the boots of pain, everybody? Not a fan of the neglect on one of the best <laughs> items in this game. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. I, I just love the Roots of Pain builds, especially with the cats, which we haven't found yet, but with the heart, it's really good. Oh, so I... good. Except for Ghoulims. Watch out for Ghoulims, Except but still. Ghoulims. Well, the thing about the Boots of Pain is it's it's a weapon augment, and that's not 
common in these in this like it changes the attack radius of your weapon and that's really cool and oh, we're gonna okay go back and transmute hey that's good get... oh that's some good okay. stuff that's gonna definitely be faster than what uh, dt's got right now yeah we got a battle cap now uh with uh, the obsidian broads and the bitter pain that's that's like a reverse axe yeah <laughs> because seriously. we spend the regular axe but uh, <laughs> we can still do that yeah, that was a nice little fireball for Ochre to get in and out of the shop as well, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and that purple chest is Earth Jones. Ochre with a pack, gonna be able to take them. Uh, DT is not. Yeah, no gonna backpack. To keep the drum. But there is the potion, which uh, Ochre already got. Mm -hmm. No armor for either racer, though, uh, which is a bit scary. Yep. Especially if you're going to take Gargoyle hits, right, Ochre? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's um, anyway. some health, which is kind of armor. Some chicken chicken. Chicken chicken chicken. chicken. You could just fireball that. Uh, oh, that yeah. For the gluttony. That Seems um, like a choice that was made because they want to go faster, but I feel like there's a lot of choices they're making not to go faster, like for other build awareness, build pickups, and I feel like getting a whole bunch more heart containers is really valuable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I can understand it, but, uh, yeah, I would have gone for, for that gluttony charm. Also, we found some chainmail in a chest. I think that so Pulse that was a pickup. A... Maybe. Maybe, maybe not, oh, but Pulse is really strong. Up. You absolutely take that Pulse, in my opinion. It's so weird to, I feel like there's something in the meta we just don't know. Because, like... These are crystal tier racers. No offense to you, but we're not. <laughs> so like, yeah. Oh, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> what? What so are we missing? Gold. Is it just like that little little moves here and there is is the difference? Is that what's causing them to go that much faster by skipping all the things? I don't know. But I feel like the things they're skipping are things that make them go faster. So I don't. I don't know. With, with, with that pulse you pick up in the arena, the arena is pretty much free. You just exactly both the things. It's five damage can hit up to eight things at once. <laughs> yeah. Think, why not go for it? Yeah, that's forty damage, chat. Mathematical. Like Almost worth the green slime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ochre did quaff the potion there, so she's down to uh, three and a half hearts now without a potion. Potion is kind of an armor. Kind of like a glass armor, a little bit, sort of. Kind of, sort of. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Does or, give you a or free like hit. Kind of a, a modified box because you can take some hits. Uh, that that would be worth a lot, and just have them do half the heart. If you're on half the heart, when you quaff it. Speaking of quaffing, DT quaffing their potion. This is absolutely scrappy. This is a scrappy, scrappy run. <laughs> They are really just trying to stitch this one together. And yeah, it's still a pretty fast one. Entering the Necron to fight by seven minutes. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> pretty good, That's pretty good. <laughs> They're going to get about my PB, but uh, with a terrible build compared to my own PB. <laughs> <laughs> we did get a bit of a weird janky uh, stage dig there. Oh, Dorian taking a massive hit there. Ah. <laughs> but um ochre's gonna finish with near optimal health get a little heal on the end there but yeah Did having you... uh, really pushed through she's gonna take the win <laughs> and a really solid race from the two of them yeah but with a sub sub eight still <laughs> and that's with a uh with a broad sword you know i, I know you love the broad swords but uh they're not exactly the fastest weapon you can find uh, with this mod. Yeah. Her build yeah. was the perfect broadsword build, though. Um, it was a I'll, ring I'll of ring of piercing, <laughs> boots of uh, lunging. No, not boots of lunging. Boots of painting. Painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, really good. And also had battle cap. So that was a really, really good build for the um, broadsword. And I do say the obsidian broadsword is actually quite nice in zone four even without um, piercing, because you can deal with Blade Masters a little easier. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. not Courage. Courage would have probably been okay with that. But I, I think that... I don't know. Piercing's really oh. good with a snaggy weapon. Because you don't snag Courage damage. Courage would, would have made that so, so much better. Yeah, it would have been fast. Piercing, piercing is decent, yes. Because... Yeah, but those make masters. If you are, if you don't have piercing, you have to uh, dodge the parry, and there's likely going to be someone in your way, and you could just going to eat the lunge, which uh, is painful. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I will say a huge part of that last race we just witnessed was a ton of just like health mitigation, like really monitoring their health, making sure they're not dead. Because um, they were taking a lot of hits the whole time, and they were using the shop bro, and they didn't have armor. I think maybe had a helmet. No, they had miner's cap. I don't know. It just um, felt really, um, yeah, they were just scrapping through. And it looks like Ogre's gonna check the shop here. It's a pretty nice shop if you can take it, but you can't. Not worth killing. It might have been a setup to get ready into a trap door, but it's slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. That trap door was pretty out of the way, but I guess it was possible. I will say, um, as much as I've ragged on the holster, I think the holster is great. It's just not being utilized. But when it's utilized well, it's pretty cool. You can do some neat stuff with it. I had one race earlier in the season where I got to really utilize uh, weapon swaps holding a glass weapon and then flipping and flopping depending on snag and stuff. It's good. Oh yeah, I, I got to do uh, a race like that too, but with a hammer and a dagger. So when I got to Coral Rip, I was pretty proud of myself when I remembered to swap to the dagger to be able to earth uh, Coral Rip. Oh, yes, of course. Smashing the heads. <laughs> oh, we might get ourselves a glass jaw here. Uh, yeah, this is the... Uh, this is likely, yes. Maybe the new meta, <laughs> but glass jaw takes are starting to be a thing. Like I don't feel like it's very new. I mean, I, I've seen that. I, well, to be fair, I am kind of new to the community in comparison to many other people. Only been here yeah, new is a little relative, perhaps. <laughs> a lot of things that are new sense. that aren't that new because I've been here for 80 years. <laughs> 80 years already. Yeah. Oh, Composed. this is a teal build right now. <laughs> And that's a uh, heavy gloss. Uh, It'd be really good for Ochre. So yeah, and let's see if Ochre's gonna double pulse for it. I wouldn't be too surprised. But the jaw take makes sense. You can if single you pulse, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, could single pulse with the with the jaw absolutely. Yeah, if if you want to stick with that glass weapon, you take the jaw because the plan is not to break the glass anyway. Yeah, I guess so. But it's still not something that was taken very much. Like, now it seems to be the case that the top tier racers, the moment they see the, um, they see the, the glass shop, it's like a foregone conclusion that they're gonna kill it. Mm -hmm. Alright, a nice little freeze pickup for Ochre as well. So, uh, builds pretty different. That's actually an opportune time to get freezed as well. I imagine, mm -hmm. is DT gonna check, uh, black here, you think? Uh, with the obsidian long, I would it say doesn't no. look like it. Okay. Yeah, it takes the shield. It's I just the shield. obs long is not going to keep up. You almost have to gamble for like a rapier or something. Or a cat. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much what DT has to do. That or just push. Because uh, Oko is going to do just that with that uh, combo of spells. Freeze and shield. I think that long sword is not going to break anytime soon. Yeah, probably not. And we're gonna even uh, take the free. Oh, we're gonna swap it. We're going to the okay. the miner's cap. Speed over damage, which damages speed. So it's picking speed for speed. Well, with, with the spells, yeah, the, the miner's cap makes sense. You can just yeah, you can deswarm. Depending on depending on what's up cool down and still go on the main way. True. Yeah, coming into zone four too, like it's the glass breaker this zone, so it's important to grab mm -hmm. something that uh, gives you a little more protection. Oh. I wouldn't say miner's cap gives you protection, but with those uh, getting a little extra swarming and being able to use those spells is really useful. There's one yeah, now. And we see, we see Oka doing just that. Not Use sure about that one. Use the wrong one, I think. Yeah. That one was still but... on cooldown. Well, we do have a ham in the pocket, 
so it's fine doing some magicking. Mm, pocket ham. Pocket ham. <laughs> but yeah, she's not using the shield as much as I thought she would. Um, yeah, but taking I'm... a lot of hits there. A little late on the yeah. shield, and now it's just a vest. Meanwhile, um, DT did pick up some damage up, which is really important for Obsidian, in case you drop the beat. And then also mm -hmm. picked up the Ring of Regen, which is really good with all these spells. So oh, yeah, can spam really them. So it doesn't even really need any armor. Just needs to spam the spells when opportune. Well, we do have some armor with that protection charm True. and some safety with the crown. Gotta be careful not to get teleported into a... Uh, yeah, right at the exit. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I cause that? Maybe. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Getting a little hairy there. Okay, those blade masters getting frozen was really critical there. That was going to take forever otherwise. Good things for DC. Meanwhile, Oka is running with this. He's in 5 1 already. Yep, zero armor though. Zero so this armor. is a naked uh, longsword. No Joe, at least. We, we saw that. <laughs> yep, so nice use of the shield, shield there. So sometimes that can slow you down. Um, trying to just not get hit. You have to, like, well, not trying. Yep. Ooh, nice yeah. freeze. You need your stuff. Get your weapon back. Why don't you get have your, your weapon? weapon? Back, Oka? Oh. Oka. What no. <laughs> no, Oka. That was a critical mistake. Oh I, no. What happened? Like just forgot her weapon. Well well before that. Why didn't she get hit? I mean I think she was just laid on the just kinda of jumped in a little bit, maybe just kinda of blanked out for a second. Oh ow, that's that's terrible. So yeah, DT's gonna slow play the rest of that seed now yeah dt's got a pretty solid just you know has to watch out for dead ringer charges but otherwise this is pretty solid yeah watch out for the charges just blood blood yeah, shield, blood shield blood freeze, exactly whatever you need to do to uh Not get out of a scary hit, yeah. situation we got regen we got a chicken we got the crown of thorns we can heal up the blood magic They're gonna clear out the whole all what whole way. Yeah, freeze it upon entering the room. Very well done. Into the ringer, we have a right side spawn. We're going to do the easy left side scoots. Oh, oh, oh my we gosh. got long sorted! No we way. got long sorted! No! Oh we wow! Got, we got to reset. Okay, go again. Ochre's over this here memeing, over. and the the run is still going. Was it just a blade? Oka, what are you doing? Oh no! That's why you rerun oh. when you die. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> you wait only the first boss arena if you have to, but you rerun. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad for him. You really gotta you really gotta be running there. It's not over, especially given that, uh, I mean, I kind of called it. <laughs> I did say, you know, all it takes is a dead ringer. And uh, yeah, I think D the issue there watching the replay is that DT didn't recognize the, um, uh, that, th that the the, uh, what am I saying? The rider needed to get killed quickly. And um, DT did not, was more interested in setting up, but lost uh, positioning. Oh no, my, that, that's heartbreaking. The, the long sword death on these left side scoops, making them not easy. Yep. Yeah, and Kurosh with the uh, accurate comment, not lowering with a fight on the pencil emoji. Yep. Gotta learn your lures. Learn your lures. I mean, if you. I, I am, you know, as much as I'm like, you should lure. I am okay with you uh, if you've got like a blood drum and a lot of health, or you've got like a um, you got like an earth spell. Like that's fine. Those are very consistent. You just gotta not put yourself in a death tunnel. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you might as well do lures, <laughs> really. <laughs> Unless you got a warhammer. 
Um, then so if you, got you just gotta cross your fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> That's going to be a terrible dead ringer anyway. So. Silly bears. <laughs> Don't spread these rumors. Actually, fireball spell is, is, it is really good. Not consistent. You, you start with lures, and when dead ringer is far away enough, you fireball the, the, the top two bells and just dodge the dead ringer charge. It's easier to dodge than the lures charge. Okay. <laughs> I feel oh, like man. Ogre might be tilted here, uh, yeah. which is not, this is not a good time. I mean, obviously you don't choose to be tilted, but this is not a good time to be tilted because there's still another match after this one. This is still potentially a win for you, so you can't just give up. Yeah, because Dinty is running the glass form with a heavy glass this time. No jaw, but still a fragile build. Okay, well DT, oh. you should at least heal up the... Yep, nope. That <laughs> you should at least that, eat that but... chicken and then pick up chicken, the ham. Yeah. <laughs> like, those are blood blood magics that you should do. But okay. Well, we find regen sometimes. Okay, soon, so... okay. Beware the monkey. Beware the. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yikes. Okay, this is fine. Is we are it? Fine. We're pushing into uh... enemy territory with a dragon on our heels, please. Okay, this, this is, is now fine. <laughs> oh gosh. Where I just spoke about not killing those, uh, those uh, guys. Okay, that, that uh, spike trap doing work. DT onto the zone 3 boss already. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a decent pace, honestly. <laughs> Gonna be into zone 4 yeah. barely after 4 minutes. Yeah, minute of the zone is a good pace. You can manage and that. Um, and like Ochre could could be ahead of DT right now if Ochre was starting right away. Yeah, instead of uh, waiting out the the seeds. Yeah. Okay, so Fireball is actually consistent. Well, okay, Monster, you saying you do them does not convince <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Monster has this long sword strat that he does too, and it looks consistent when it's monster doing it, but you know, like the fence strats look consistent when fans do does them. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the fireball strats are somewhat consistent. I've seen Siv use them too. And I I I don't remember a time where I saw them fail. So that doesn't sense at least. <laughs> okay, well, I'll have to keep an eye out for them because I'm I'm not as aware of them. I'm sure I've seen them, but. Yeah. Right, DT into the 4 2 exit room. It's a bit crowded, but we're fine. And also, really helpful with that multi hit. Just getting two enemies out at once. I'm gonna clear out the rooms so much faster and safer. In a more safe manner. Do we take the ob staff for the easy dead ringer? No. <laughs> we not in zone four. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of zone four. It's fine. Uh, yeah, maybe, but ob staff was a maybe take there. I think you got this much of a lead. Longsword got you killed last time. It also, in a sense, got ochre killed. Maybe it's worth swapping. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Ochre here yeah, is well. going to be doing a mystery weapon. Uh, never mind. Going to get Miner's Cap. And a free shovel. Mm. <laughs> that was not actually free. It was 50 gold. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at this point it's free. 50 gold's nothing. Mm -hmm. Alright. To... Oh, awkward Bye. exit. If you, had an, <laughs> if you had a staff, that would have been an easy exit. Yeah, all right, maybe stuff was the take. I did not notice we were at the end of 4 3 already. And I, that could have been good, yeah. <laughs> I um, hesitate to point this out, but I wonder if any of these racers are like, ooh, this race is really going to hurt my average. Maybe I should just take the L. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we do a telemonkey? I missed it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay, well, good double spell usage for Luca to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ogre could potentially, if things go off the rails with Dead Ringer and it takes a long time or a bad Necrodancer, there's a chance. Ogre is pushing very fast here. 
using mm -hmm. all of their health. Oh dear. Oh <laughs> dear. Oh, nice oh, oh. freeze. Okay, here we go. You have freeze, you have shield. Okay, it's easy left side. Scoot, scoot. Okay, the wind mage is on the right. Uh, there you go. This time. Good RNG. Okay. Phew, we made it. <laughs> I'm in the Necronauta fight now. I'm not sure how many bombs we have. Uh, so five. Now three, now two. <laughs> and the glass shovel is the still glass alive, shovel right? with the shield, yeah. There really nice start to this fight. Doing it right. Not gonna oh, blood magic out of it. Could have. Well, it, it's a lot to pay one full heart. To yeah, get it's a third of your health. That's danger. Yeah, you could just use a spell that's available to avoid taking additional hits yeah. instead of just freeing yourself. Yeah, this is like not a fast fight. We don't need the fastest fight, just uh, not to die well, at I'm this just, point. You know, yeah, not a fast fight, but that's that's a win for a DT. Fifteen forty-seven. Yes. Let's get one of these big moments. It's this one here. We'll uh, so spot the moment. It's right here. Kill the yeah, kill the rider. Yeah. Kill the rider or use your or shield. Or use your shield. One of the three. Did have access to the shield. GG's. So yeah, still a sub, sub eight like GT, so these are run. Just got me not there we go. By the long sword. How <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a very low percent chance of that happening, I think. <laughs> I think could I, have I, I maybe think gone it's... for the wind mage instead. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of thing that happened to to everyone. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's still hard to see it coming. Oh, get wind spelled. Yeah. Did they have heavy plate at that point? No, clearly not, because they got blasted by no, dead ringer. So never mind. <laughs> they yep. know Nike. Yeah. Although one thing that's uh, interesting about heavy plate is that it has wait for it or the heavy glass has the heavy status. Oh. So there you go. And what is the heavy status? I don't know. I don't have a card for that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, race three is going, and the timer is not. And uh, what? We <laughs> we're pushing a crate to open it on this one. One, it's just gold. All right, we're gonna check this lock shop in one, two. It's okay. <laughs> it's decent. You don't have money for that playland ballet shoes combo. You can throw it out. Yeah, I'm gonna take the boots though. Mm -hmm. Boots ballet. And we have uh, an input card for the ballet shoes. Yeah, I mean those things are great when they're working. It's kinda like the ring of mana. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. That looked that very intentional. Drop. That looked like an intentional pickup of that jaw. I... There was a pause and then a pickup. Okay, well then. I think it was intended. It's and this is yikes. Okay, yes, this is what's the weapon? It is a flail. It's probably Ooh. titanium because we just saw the obsidian one. Can that happen? Oh, yeah. uh, that is an excellent question, actually. I don't know how the item pool works on that one. Probably titanium, yes. But, um... I think that's what I'm going to assume. It's titanium. Also, you know, if you're feeling like you want to, a bomb there to get the holster, pick up your dagger for a throw on Coral Riff or something, mm -hmm. is a, you know, it's not a bad idea. A little holster well, dagger so you can, although would have missed have out enough... on this. Is... Okay, we're fine. It is titanium. We, we don't have enough bombs to, to uh, <gasps> no! just bend one on the holster. Oh, no, no. That's so oh, goofy. Yeah. Did you <laughs> see that goofiness? Watch this. Oh, it's oh. so dumb. So there's like a weird, I only just recently found out about this, but did you see what the minutes are did? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I, I, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, what, so yeah, I, he was I'm... charging. And then if you hit him again, he like changes that direction. Changes again? That's, that's just silly. <laughs> yeah. An electro dagger fine though. That's really good. So, Ogre mm. having a 4 damage Electro Dagger currently. Yeah, and... Uh, and she's gonna get a heal as well. Heal spell. Ooh. Gonna be able to take some hits. 
and tag them with the heal spell to protect the troll. Ogre absolutely has the better build here. Gonna walk right on past that whip. I'm scared about that troll. Like, DT has the forever three damage spear. Oh, good point. I didn't notice. Yeah, the boots are really good. It's three damage, and if it's not three damage, it'll be three damage after one kill. You charge it up, one beat, or one kill, which is good. So, I, I would agree that the big bombs and the zap dagger makes Oko Oko's build better, but the jaw. I I'm really oh. scared about that one. Well, there's the transmute. There's the electro dagger. Oh, well, there we go. All right, build parity a little bit. It is a weaker mm -hmm. uh, electro dagger. But we don't have to worry about the jaw for, for DT. Now there was, there is a obsidian broadsword there. Come on, chat. <laughs> You'll love it. With that, with those boots. Hmm. Good stuff. I think they're gonna swap just about every item with that shop. Getting a pickaxe and a shield spell. Not sure what the third was, but uh... oh yeah, that 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 dragon's. <laughs> I think the holy okay. water maybe. Nice still uh, oh, this is so scary. Okay, this what are we getting here? Fine. Ring a piece. Wait, ring a piece, yeah. That, Might that as well get the uh, gi, right? No, no, because we need the protection on the draw. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but think of the damage. You could be an eight. Eight on an electro uh, dagger. The eight, dream. Eight? You oh, am I wrong about that? with that torch. Oh, the torch. the torch should be 10. It would be. There's only oh, wait. That's the wrong one. Hold on. So there it is. <laughs> I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, dino damage. Dino damage. Oh, good. There's only so much Matt can take. And that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Meanwhile, there goes a vacation minotaur for DT. Oh, and the fancy uh, the spear kill to get it out of the way for Oka. <laughs> On this for one already. Damn. This, ra this race is going fast. <laughs> this is scooting. Making well, up for the last one, maybe. Six damage dagger will do. True. <laughs> it's that like jaw is super strong. It's, uh, with a dual dagger with, with the zaps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> did a little bit of a telemonkey with a glass jaw. That's always a bold play, but did have the uh, shield spell. Gonna use it even more. Mm -hmm. I mean, with all this regen with the cookies, this is this is a good call. Yeah. Use the use that shield as much as you can. I'm fairly sure those cookies will be used for iframes rather than regen. True. No well, once you're low, you might. Well, actually, no. That's a great point because why why keep your health up? <laughs> There's no reason the yep. the jaw you're gonna die anyways. <laughs> good point, Cupy. That's why we bring you in. <laughs> Happy to help. Yeah. yeah, we're going to use the heal on the stairs to get the region. Oh, there is a heal. I didn't notice the heal spell. Yeah, this is true. And yeah, we got already down on zone 5. Did you not too far behind on this 4 2? Gonna enter 4 3 <gasps> now. Oh, oh, we lost the, the armor. Yep, the okay, glass armor is quaffed. <laughs> and uh, we are down to a naked jaw. A naked jaw, we only have one <gasps> bomb for the... <laughs> oh, that's true. One bomb for the Necrodancer. All of a sudden, this run is looking a little spicy. I'm very spicy. <laughs> oh. And DT, though, is still quite a ways behind. Like, Ochre could probably butt puzzle here and still win. Yeah, but we're going to have to do some butt puzzling. Not yeah. too much because one big bomb. Use your shield, I beg Oh, you. that was the okay. uh, the last possible moment to use that. My gosh, this is so spicy. <laughs> and DT lacking the damage, it's really costing. Okay, are we seeing Oblivion here? This is an Oblivion. We are the Oblivion. Maybe check for Blast Helm for, you know... <gasps> the one made oh, wow. good shield. Oh, my gosh. The clutch Excellent shield. Excellent on, on that. Ooh. Okay, nicely I, done. Nicely recovered. That is time. So oh my god! I think DT might just be in um, like farm mode, just because yeah. they assume that the only way they're gonna win is if Ochre takes a hit and dies from the jaw, which is yeah, and not unlikely. That's fairly possible. Yeah, this is that naked jaw. It's pretty easy to take a hit in the Necrodancer fight. 
because you got two I characters to pay attention we, to. I didn't see if we checked in the, the, the red chest for the possible head swap. Oh, I didn't see either. Uh, okay. <laughs> Big buff. <laughs> I was really yeah. confused for a second there. Okay. Nice couple of teleports here. Really safe. Okay, a bit of a bad one. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a moment. Uh oh, oh, keep going oh, away. Well Dorian. Good thing Dorian's well, not wearing Dorian a glass really jaw. But, uh, really okay, solid fight. Yeah. Diagonals. There you go. So there Ochre go. does take game three. Whew. That, oh man, palms are sweaty. <laughs> that that ring of fight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. That was, that was very scary. Well handled by Ochre there. Good redemption on, uh, mm -hmm. on that set. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a wild ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just very well done on recognizing that the Oblivion going wrong because of the Wind Mage. And uh, yeah, we're doing the the right steps to correct that. So GG's to Oka, GG's to DT yeah. on this set. Highly entertaining. I'll give it that one. <laughs> yeah. Lots of entertainment <laughs> value on that one. What an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm assuming this is in Caligor JPEG now? Yes, yes it okay. is. <laughs> cool. Gorgeous. So we're slamming through some pretty fast ones on the at the front half of this uh turn uh this showcase. Then we're gonna have our, our huge news, Condor news, and then um then we're gonna see a titanium gold and cadence of Hyrule race. So we actually get a six this time around. 